Herb is busy talking about the Browns when Flopsy runs away. After three seconds, Mr. Herb notices she's missing and sprints after her. If Flopsy is running at four feet per second and Mr. Herb chases after her at six feet per second, how long has Flopsy been running when Mr. Herb catches up with her? Pause the video and try to work it out. In about three or four years, the Browns are going to be a great team. I mean, with Terrell Pryor back, he's a heck of an athlete. So is Corey Coleman. Kessler's doing great. You know, sky's the limit. Hey, where did Flopsy go? Since equals rate times time problem, so I set up this nice table to help me organize all my information. The next thing I do is I read the question. How long, so we're talking about time, has Flopsy been running when Mr. Herb catches up to her? So if we're talking about time and we're trying to figure out Flopsy's time, then I'm going to put a T in for time for Flopsy. Now, Mr. Herb ran three seconds later, so we actually have to say that mine is T minus three because I've run for three seconds less than Flopsy has. We look at the problem again and it says Flopsy is running at four feet per second, so that's a four, and then Mr. Herb is chasing her at six feet per second. Now, we are trying, I'm trying to catch her, so that means that our distance is gonna be equal to the same. So that means I can use uh, substitution here to solve to try to figure out how much time it would take me to catch her. So this means that if D equals 4T and D equals 6 times the quantity T minus 3, I can set 4T equal to 6 times the quantity T minus 3 and solve. I first start by distributing my 6, which gives me 6T minus 18 equals 4T. Then I'm going to subtract 6t, so that way I can get it on the same side. And I lastly have to divide by negative 2 to isolate the variable, meaning t equals 9. So this means that Flossy ran, Flossy ran for 9 seconds before she was caught. This would also mean that Mr. Herb had only run for 6 seconds before he caught up to her. I'm Mr. Herb, and this is Flopsy, and we challenge you to make a better real math video.